Hello, and welcome to Eggman Cracked, the I'm that guy playing these games that you never even heard of. So today's game we got is uh, Treasure, the uh, developer Treasure's first game, and they later on did the uh, Astro Boy Omega Factory, or uh, uh, Gunstar Superhero, Blue Blue Blam Blam, and Sin and Punishment, and oh, Mischief Maker so much... And this is their first game. And you're going, wait a second, McDonald's? McDonald's is your favorite game now? And, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta say that the combined, uh, like, visual appeal with the soundtrack and the gameplay, it just, it pulls me right in and, uh, I, I'm a sucker for it. Um, it's the game I get everybody to play when, when, when they, when they scoff at me. They go, oh, that, that can't be good, that can't be good. And I'm like, well... I mean, maybe you should judge a book by its cover. So, let, why, 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 why don't we jump right in? Uh, press the start. Okay, and we'll go quick through uh, what's here. We got the password, which uh, if you can't make it through the game, because if, if you, it's pretty tough. You can put in sperms, and uh, it'll take you to some cool level. So, uh, let's uh, let's just kind of get out of here. <laughs> blew something up so the next part we got we got options so let's go over to here okay game level normal normal is pretty tough like two hits you're dead that's the way it is um expert one hit you're dead Whoosh, done so we're gonna play on we're gonna play on beginner today so we can get through the game um what's nice about these old genesis games is a lot of time you have the sound tests which uh nowadays on your call of duties and your 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 uh, Grand Theft Turismo's, uh, you got uh, soundtracks. You know, you gotta you gotta buy it, download the album, but you know, we'll, we'll 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 forget about that for now. So why don't we start off this game, right and all? Ho, 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 ho. So one day Ronald was walking in the magical forest and found a small piece of paper. Under a big tree. What's this? It looks like a piece of a treasure map. Ha cha cha. Treasure map. <laughs> I wonder where the rest of the treasure map is. Ronald didn't know. But three other guys found the other parts of the map. Okay, let's go for a treasure hunt. Cha 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 cha. Cha cha. This is the start of Ronald's adventure with a piece of the map in his hand. Magical forest. Stage one start. All right, here we go. So looking at the HUD interface, we have uh. Or four gems here with the, the word beginner over top of it. Two rings, three rings, or spaghettios, a balloon, a little uh, plus sign, uh, uh, life, uh, G for um, oh gold, gold, and M. Um, we'll, we'll assume those are continues. Ooh, got some rings. And uh, what is it with Genesis games and rings? I mean, you got Sonic the Hedgehog, and he's all about rings. So, Ronald, he's here in this magical forest. You know, you got uh, cast in the background, uh, nice uh, s s uh, star trees, that's what they're called. Um, and you got snails that know when the uh, magical dust is coming at them. Um, so, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, have you ever seen Ronald shoot magic dust? I don't know. I mean, like, I, I mean... I, I like I like uh, him. He seems like a cool guy. Um, you know, people might argue about like you know providing children with bad food or you know tricking them. You know, but it's not him. That's Ray Kroc or some shit. You know, like uh, McDonald's Corporation, Ronald McDonald. He's just a, a hired hand. You know, what do you think he does? You know, when he goes home, he doesn't eat fucking McDonald's. I can tell you that. Maybe he does. Maybe he has an addiction. Maybe he's paid at McDonald's. But let's let's uh let's put that aside for now. Let's talk about the music a little bit. Um, this is one of the reasons I love the game so much. The uh, 
fast paced. Bomb, 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 bomb. And the music changes quite often through the game, as you'll see as I progress. Um, Ronald hates midgets. I mean, he's if if, if he let's let's check this out. He's a murderer now. Dwarfs are misrepresented badly in this game. They make clouds and lightning. Um, and then I, I, I don't know what the fuck is with those guys. I, I just realized after pff, fucking like 15 years of playing this game that those weird horny things, not sexually, but physically, um, the, the little red thing isn't a nose, it's a mouth. I never realized that. I, um... I guess I've never really had this hooked up on something so clear before. Uh, I would always, <laughs> I've, I've, I've played it on a CRT. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I've ever not played it on a CRT, uh, television, tube, TV, tube, a hey, tube, goal. And you'd think he's going to a McDonald's, but no, there's a crazy tower that crashes instead. Um, with these hands here, uh, one, two, three, four, and they do have five fingers, so they're accurate. Um, some flowers, um, trippy flowers. Yeah, see, um, I never realized that. Like, that's a mouth. He's smiling. And that, it's not his, like, I always view the stripey part as his mouth. Like, like he's like some sort of fucked up piece of nature. Which he still kind of is. But he's at least kind of cute if you look at the mouth. Now, I like that as you progress up this tower, you have, like, Oh shit! It changes like the time of day changes, and now it was owls. Now it's ghosts, and still fighting, still fighting uh, midges, um, dwarfs, small people, uh, whatever, whatever you like. Uh, don't hoit me! Stop shooting your clouds at me. This uh, this could create some real uh, phobias in children. That's the real danger of Ronald McDonald is. The fact that he, he kills dwarves, I mean, what's the deal with that? I mean, although they, I, you can't see his eyes, you don't know what's under there. He could be a spider monster, and he's just in the disguise of a dwarf to give them bad names. So, here we go. Uh, the, um, I don't know if that's the, the, the moon, like the late night moon McDonald's, you know, uh, if you remember that old ad campaign. Uh, Mac at night, I think that's what it was. I wonder if that's him. I wonder if he's been decapitated. Or maybe he went home. Maybe he is the moon. And he just came here to visit, like, Jesus or something. Progressing, st still not a McDonald's. Now we are in a, oh, man. See, I love the background here. It's so fucking beautiful. We got an angry fish down here. Oh, and this motherfucker. Oh, shit. I forgot about him. He's on the box art, actually. He's, uh... something else there's a lot of like things made out of balls on the genesis like like i always think of vector man now i love like these um visual uh what the fuck would you call these uh shit there we go um like trick of the eye uh, you got him in the Sonic Hedgehog. Uh, anything that, like, rotates like that. God. I eat it up. You, you, you see it in Sonic 3 a lot. Uh, but shit. Uh, I always get excited. And I, I don't know if there is any more of them in this game after this one. But this was always, like, memorable to me. And I think I like them so much is because I used to suck at getting across them. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out for my life as a kid. And if you haven't guessed, I, I first played this when I was, like four years old or something like so yeah there's like a little bit of nostalgia in there but I maintain that it's still a good game there's other games I played when I was younger that I liked and I look back now and I'm like eh, not, not, not so great but this is one that I, I think still like maintains a lot of quality and people don't really give it a chance because of uh, the lead character but you know fuck if if it wasn't Ronald McDonald if it was like some other property you know people maybe people would like it more I don't really 
know. Um, because Treasure's other games, they have like they have a bit of a cult following, and um, you know, there's still you know, a lot of people who, I mean, if they're not into like the shooters, um, like the old time like arcadey shooters, side scroller contra shit, you know, they may not um, may not know about Treasure. Or maybe nobody's really. You know, maybe a lot of people don't do the research, you know, there, but there's there's a small cult following for their games, and um, this is one that often gets overlooked. It's kind of like their uh, Castle Cagliostro, if you're familiar with, like, Hayao Miyazaki's films. It's like using a different property, different IP to um, make a, a new thing, like, in this case, Lupin the Third, um, Castle Cagliostro, uh, was already an established IP. Um, at the time, and uh, Miyazaki, you know, he's later known for his, uh, uh, like, original uh, uh, story films, you know, he, he, he takes from literature, or, you know, he's done adaptions and stuff, but, um, you know, you think, like, you know, like, at least personally, I think, like, Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind, or, you know, Mononoke Hime, or any of that shit, like, uh, it's, it's good, it's good, uh, good stuff, so... Like, um, this part also contains, like, one of my favorite moments in any video game. Um, like, there's a certain scale to how, uh, where, what the fuck was I going with that? Um, there's a certain scale to this game. Ah, right, 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 okay, I got it, I got it in my brain again. <laughs> it just took a second, I was mesmerized by the stars. Uh, there's a certain scale to this game where it can make you feel really small, like Shadow of the Colossus or something. Like, maybe, 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 maybe you're thinking that I'm uh, exaggerating or something, but, uh, t- take a look at this. This is one of my favorite moments. <laughs> like, as a kid, like, being pushed up by a fucking geyser. Again, like, the Sonic games kind of kind of had shit like this, like, being pulled through the water tunnels, but there's just, like, a sense of, like, imagination and adventure that, um, I mean, it's in the title, Treasure Land Adventure, I mean, the, <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. but, um, it just, uh, it was just really, like, compelling to me, and I'm like, you know, where the fuck is he going? He's being shot up in the house, this guy, I mean, he's been going forever, and look, psh, gone. Where, where is he going? Hmm. This kind of, this kind of looks like where we were before. Um. Whoa. What's happening? Oh my God. It's a cave opening up. It's like reverse of what a cave collapsing is. But shit. Uh. I think I'm inside of a dinosaur dragon. Um. A robotic dinosaur dragon. As you can tell, the music has changed again here. Um, this is another thing. Like, you know, why are there? These are essentially like traffic symbols. You know, they give you five seconds and safety zone. Like, why would a living organism need this in his body and is this like his stomach acid or something because uh i'm gonna tell you right now it hurts ronald to touch it like here i mean i have a lot of life whoa did you see how upset he got he was not a happy ronald oh and it it hurts the no it doesn't hurt the bats bat rats kind of what they look like collect g sacks oh my god that hurt me. But that's okay, because I have tons of life. Because I'm playing beginner mode. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend beginner mode. And this I thought was really cool, too. Um, like, I I always looked at them at them like, as if they were bubbles. But, like, looking closer, they kind of look like fireballs. Still doesn't make much sense. Um, but, fuck. But, uh, purple dragons, like, not a super unique design, you know, this pink, but, um, still, like, kind of representative of the early 90s, um, you saw a lot of this, 
type of dragon stuff uh, then. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Bush Gardens. Um, I think that's right, Bush Gardens. They had like dragons or something for a while in the early 90s. Yeah, crazy bat rat. Burr, 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 burr. I guess bats are rodents, so I mean, oh my god. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to my life. And now I gotta go all the way through all that shit again. Alright, I did. I'll do it quick this time. I don't need to explore every fucking inch of this game. And this time I won't like sacrifice life just to show him go whoa. Whoa. Do 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 boom 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 boom. Back to the fireball pit. Uh and there's there's a lot of animation going on right now. Um, I really like like all of his like his what, what, what does he have a ledge? It's like oh I'm gonna fall off the ledge pose. Uh, yeah, oh, those are my favorites. Like I uh, I I would probably I would get a tattoo of this. I would. I think I would. I really uh I always really enjoy these. Oh why am I going up here again? I know I don't have to go up here. He's going to the right, Ralph. Actually, get through the fucking level already. And as you can tell, this has all been one level. I'm still technically in the magical forest, I think. I've had nothing to tell me otherwise. I mean, my fucking dragon piece of shit. Okay. And this is like my Yonic Commando. Like, that's... That's another thing that I always thought was really cool. Like, I'm, I'm a big fan of Capcom's games. And, you know, they did really cool stuff with, like, the Disney uh, properties. So, I mean, why uh, why couldn't Treasure do something cool with a McDonald's property? And I, I think there's quite a few people who might agree with me. Uh, look at that glitch out. Whoa. I'm, pa I'm playing the PAL version of this uh, European one. So, like, uh, I don't know if it's... It looks... Maybe it looks a little different to me. I don't... I don't really, I can't really tell. Uh, I just thought I'd give uh, the Mega Drive version a shot. Uh, uh, what, I mean, I was, uh, I, I love this game so much as a kid, and uh, I would always go to Blockbuster and rent it. Uh, like, it would be like the first thing I'd grab, and I was so sad when they stopped uh, carrying Genesis games, or when they stopped carrying this one in particular. Like, don't touch. That's a heart. And welcome. Hmm. I wonder what's down here. What's that? Oh, hey, hey. Hey, Hamburglar. Hey, all right. What a nice house. Nothing here, Faye. Ah, uh, you want my magic jewel? Oh, that's that's not. that's. I, I was doing Hamburglar's voice, but that's Ronald talking. What did you say? Oh, huh, you want my magic jewel? A cha cha cha. She'll give me a hint for this jewel. Really? Oh, yeah, Hamburger doesn't talk. All he does is go, rabble, 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 rabble. Will you give him the jewel? Uh, yeah. Hmm. The enemy boss will try to eat my magic jewel. The cha cha cha. Oh, I can attack him while he's eating the jewels. Really? A cha cha cha. Thank you, Hamburglar. I'll try. Now, okay, let's let's analyze this scene a little bit. Now, you got a nice photo here, Hamburglar, and uh, what are you watching on TV? That's um, that's just the McDonald's logo, flashing. I, I I mean, I guess you wouldn't get cable down here. I mean, do you even have a Sega Genesis? Oh, he's talking again. I don't. I'm. Don't you need my jewels anymore? What? That's really weird. And he has a refrigerator. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, go to the goal. Okay, so yeah, I used to rent this game all the time, and once once it stopped getting carried at Blockbuster, I couldn't find it for the life of me. And you know, like I I would search game stores and stuff, and. Uh, you know, like your your Babbage's and your uh, Electronics Boutique, <laughs> and uh, I guess I should bring up the fact that there's a giant fish sliding down with uh, little like 
light thing in this head that the scary fish have. Okay, so we're about to go into the boss. But, um... But, yeah, yeah the person who... I, I got this game from uh, this kid um, that was, like, friend, I was friends with in my neighborhood. Uh, he had it in his basement, and, uh... I saw it, and I was like, oh, shit, my homie's got Mass Effect Red Adventure. And he's like, you want it? And I'm like, yeah, totally. Um, and that's how I obtained it. <laughs> not, a, not a super fun story. But also take notice that um, uh, this guy, he's fighting. Um, he eats your life. So on harder difficulties, when you have less life, like you only have like two jewels and um, expert, which is like pretty much a one-hit kill from any, any enemy. Um, meaning you they need a minimum of two jewels because they eat your life. That's what they're doing. He's he's going, hey Ronald, I want to eat your parts. I mean, like, what's up with this jewels? I mean, it's his life. If he runs out of jewels, he dies. So he's giving his life force to this tomato man, who um I always again as a kid thought he was a pumpkin. Um, but we can attribute that to bad CRT television. Um, a nice, nice fade out here. Back to the story. Mm. You got me. You won, Ronald. <laughs> I'll give you this piece of the map. <laughs> Crying. Treasure map. Da, 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 da. It fits my map. Cha, 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 cha. I wonder if I can find the rest of the map. So Ronald got the second part of the map and continued his adventure quest. Magical town. Stage two, start. <laughs> <laughs> 